visiting Ablushka, which is a small little town that was built in the mountains where they made like little caves and people lived there. So I'm going to take a walk up, it's quite steep, we hope for the best. This first part doesn't seem too bad, but I think it gets quite steep when I was down below. I could see there's people quite high up. So we'll see how a 54 year old go up here with all the camera equipment. Um, the other nice thing about this is this whole area is right around right next to a big river so if you just I'm just gonna pan a little bit you see some people walking there's a huge river at the back quite fast flowing as well this time of the year apparently they've had some good rains You have lots of tourists posing and doing all sorts of things. I suppose it is what it is. I'm here for now. It's a little bit of the countryside around. This is the first cave structure that you reach. Walking up, you've got to walk carefully, yeah. Especially like me, I'm watching the camera all the time, a little bit. So you need to be careful. As there's a bit of loose sand, and the the, the rocks are they're not exactly slippery, but if you make a mistake, you fall down. You're gonna have some problems with your cameras, your head, and a few other things. But it's good fun to be out here. I'll do the best I can. Right, I'm going to start climbing up to the main structure where most of the rocks are. Unfortunately, I've also seen here that they've done some cement work and all sorts of things. I suppose it's all to keep it nice and stable, but it does detract a little bit of the original look, which is more what I would have liked to see, but it's still impressive to think that someone did all this by hand. This area in front of the caves looks like it could have been some sort of a gathering place because there's looks like stones and there's also some holes which could have been fire pits or something like that but it looks nice and protected even if there was like maybe on the one side a little guard room if you look at this floor plan but definitely this was some place where people just sort of gathered if I take a wild guess This is inside one of the side caves. Unfortunately, there's been some crayons and things making some graffiti. But still, you can see where there was fires made and all sorts of things. Uh, doesn't matter how you look at it. If you look on the top, you can see some chisel marks, how this was chiseled out. And I imagine what you see here must have been some sort of a sleeping place maybe or somewhere someone could sit. And this part here, if I take a wild guess, you could have maybe put some candles, because I can see some black suit. So I think there were some candles, somewhere to make light. You can see this gentleman coming down, it's not that easy. What? <laughs> I'm just saying it's not that easy coming down. <laughs> I 
actually I had to switch the camera off and just put it in my pocket to get up here because I needed both hands. And then I've got some other camera around my neck, so just had to keep it safe. So I'm going to go into one of the caves now. Hope you can see something. This is one of the side caves, the bigger ones. Could have been something like a sleeping room. Okay, I'm walking inside the main cave. And then there's a smaller cave. I'm just going to climb up here, I'll show you a little bit inside. like at the back there's a bit of a depression which could have been a sleeping place. This is the left hand side of the main cave. Even here you can see some looks like sulfur in the rocks, the yellow color. You see that quite often in the side of Georgia, close to Tbilisi and some of the mountains where we've gone, Kazbeki. You see those yellow colors. looks like sulfur. And you can also see a depression in the wall. There's probably some space for putting some candles or maybe food or whatever. It's sort of looks like it's a beautiful scenery around them. This is a countryside, mostly farming. You see a lot of farming apple trees and all sorts of things. It's just a beautiful place from up here. This massive valley. It must have been an ancient river that goes through here. It's really beautiful. <laughs> 